Welcome back to our unique course IT support resume applying for jobs in communities. In our last video, we discussed how to prepare yourself for that first call. So great, you got the first call, you did pretty good, you talked to them about the uniqueness of your training. And at this point, they're a little confused like, okay, yeah, he's, he's, he's using a lot of good terms like Active Directory, Office 365, this and that. And it seems pretty good because this person is way better than the other person who I just talked to on the phone with just a plus and didn't know what to do or just a college degree and didn't know what to basically you know talk about um, they're too fresh now at least you're fresh too but at the same time you seems like you you are on the right path you're you're talking some of the terms like an IT like an IT professional so you got the call and I'm confidently saying that you will get a call out of these three people because you uh, are showing something different so this is where the real thing will start the on-site interview or even if it's an online interview but if it's like the main interview that they're going to give you a job after that then that's the key right there this is where you have to prepare yourself and how do you prepare yourself now this is where you need to be a member of our community other than that this video is good you can learn something from it and i'll show you you can if you're not a member of this community you can still learn a lot of questions from this community you can learn pretty good stuff in this video but still i will be honest because we teach you this stuff for a reason so then at this point when you come to this room then you're able to do something different than the other it uh, uh, the other um, future IT professional. So you're 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 competing against people just like you in the interview. This is all about competition right here. You're trying to grab that position. So who is going to be better at selling themselves is going to be the person who is going to win this. So how do you do that? So to do this, you need to understand how we approach this uh, and how we solve this in a way that helped other other people. In our platform, we have 30,000 people, right? So, so many people came to us in the beginning and they landed a job. Right from that moment, I requested everybody that once you finish our courses, please, please come back and tell me your interview question and tell me the experience. Because I can sit here as a professional, I may tell you that I went to six jobs and I passed it and great, I did this and that, but I am still only a one person. Remember, one IT professional cannot be everything. Okay, I get this stuff and I can share all of this information because I have other professionals, you, uh, people like you who came to our platform, got the jobs, and then they came back and gave back to the community. So thank you to them because, and you should also say thank you to them because they, they didn't have to do this. So they came back and then they came back. If you come to this course and you click on the success stories and click on IT career questions, this is where I basically added everything so one person came in got step one follow Danish's advice apply for the jobs on indeed blah 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 so he got he got he he, he applied it on all that right so look at this he's sharing his experience and look most likely I have hundred plus applicants in queue okay so the thing is this that he's basically showing you how to even apply like you know you should be applying for new jobs to get get those type of calls but we're we're ahead of that right now we're we're getting into the it the the questions the interview questions so here practice your own why should we hire you answer i mean practice it until you memorize it should be 30 seconds or less as well as you tell me about yourself Nothing's better than when you're comfortable answering these questions with ease. At least you can walk out there knowing you tried your best. Look, this is the person who's telling you who actually landed a job. Here on the top right here says, well, I finally landed and I begin on Monday. This is how we do things. So try to learn from this blog. And I will, I will share more because I just want to talk about this, um, you know, a little bit more in detail. And I want to show you a success, another success story, a big one. They are looking for experience, sure, but let them know that you can bring without experience. My last interview, I ex experimented and said, hey, why not let me just be honest with them? So I let them so let them know straight up 
I may not be, I may not have the required experience under your job posting requirements, but with my last two years of studies that ended up in 3.8 GPA while maintaining a full-time job shows that I am highly dedicated individual who strives to become more knowledgeable in IT. Your company needs someone who is dedicated and I believe I am that guy. You see, look at the confidence, man. Look at the confidence right here. The person is straight up studying right now because he's saying that, Give me the opportunity. I do have one. Even if you ask me questions about where do you learn your technologies from, now JobSkill Share is there for you. You have spent so much time here. So much technical skills have been learned over here. You have done so many labs over here. And by the, the moment you start the IT fundamental course, we start teaching you questions type of, uh, you know, um, uh, teaching like we say that you may be getting a question like this so let's just learn this you may be a, getting a question like you know imaging so let's just learn this in, in imaging we, we talk about you may be qu getting a question in active, active directory so let's learn that you may be question, getting a question uh, ticketing system so see we even teach you kind of like you're already in interview so our members who have finished everything um, in all these six steps 90% of the time, you're already done with these questions. You're just talking about that soft skills that you also learn from one of our offerings that we do. Like there's a three courses in this. You learn essential skills. You learn communication skills and behavioral skills. You learn that from these t three big courses that are out there in your membership. So you learn it from professionals who are already really, they're way better than me explaining these basic questions, right? So you learn this from right here. But you can also go online and find the best answers from YouTube about those the, the 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 normal ones because i can give you one answer there will be 10 more different answers i don't want to confuse people look for the best answers for this this guy is correct look for it look for the best answer and then memorize it okay so then you go down to his other advice keep searching do not okay so this this is more like you know uh, about the job like at the end he's just telling you that you know uh, just look for the jobs because he already got the job now and here's another one other one came in landed a help this job with no search watching your videos inspired me to apply thanks man keep it up keep keep up the work interview questions weren't at all about it they basically wanted someone who's willing to put in work and time to learn with the firm okay and i went with the positive attitude told them about myself and how tech savvy I always been and show them that I have great communication skills and that was basically it. So you see, you go to the, the some companies, like I said that so many times, there may be 10 companies out of 10, eight may be looking for a technical person and two may be looking for just fresh, fresh people. We want to teach them. If they have passion, if they show us that they want to learn something, we are going to teach you. Because if someone comes to me and they say, I want to learn, I'm the kind of guy that I will teach you. I will teach you with love because I don't care about, you know, um, other things. You know, I've been doing this on the YouTube for five years. So I will do that. Of course, not for free everything because I cannot pay for your servers and equipments and stuff like that. And that's why you, you pay for the membership. Then Stacy came in and, and then she shared her story. I was worried that they would test me, but it, uh, you know, test me, but, but it, uh, but, but take it from me, attitude is everything. Be nice to HR and when you answer questions, use firm answers like you have no doubt about your abilities. They always try to trick you into being honest or objective, but it's a trap to see if you are uh, unsure. Strike up the conversation, be firm, be nice. And if it's a group interview, then, then you're trying to be heard, try to be loudest person in the room. Uh, that doesn't mean you start screaming, but be loud so then they can at least hear you with confidence. Easy way to direct attention to yourself is to throw in supporting comments to someone else, then move on to talk about your own agenda. That's a very good point right there. Because when a lot of people start interview, tell me about yourself, right? Or they usually talk about how do you learn technology? Like why do you have passion for technology? Then that's where you strike the conversation that I am in this community where actually I want to learn skills from other professionals who, who are in IT for almost 15 years. And to me, that was the easiest way and also I loved it because I learned so much from them and I can bring something to the to my own job you know I can do something in my job not just do basic stuff I can bring something to this 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 work that I'm going to be doing you see so you you already kind of like uh, start impressing them because you're already talking about things that they would love to hear you know 
so that shows confidence and then of course she she goes on and uh, i would like you guys to go over it right so then, uh, then after that, you know, uh, again, there's there's another one that's talking about confidence. So you, and the one that I want to share right now is that uh, you can come in and there's so many, right? There's so many. There's, there's phone interviews. The first thing, the first thing, the second round, the third was a bit intense round. So you, you see right here, even though this guy has a little different approach to it, uh, it says right here, uh, second round was behavioral where they asked a lot about what if based or scenario based questions i would suggest people to apply for star method methodology so this is actually like you know you go online and then look for like what is star basically well how can i learn from star type of questions so that you can actually uh look into that there's search videos on star based interview techniques and you will come across tons of it they're pretty much they pretty much ask basic questions but compare uh, compare it with a true and genuine incident out of out of your experience and related to that scenario doesn't matter if it's it or not you know you can just relate to something else now the third uh, round was a bit intense and that was a technical questions now this technical question area right here for so he was applying to a little bit more higher position but you're applying for a help desk position so all this technical question you can see right here it says i went through your ad course and ticketing system videos so that came handy this these courses the active directory and ticketing system itself landed people so many people landed a job by just going to active directory and there was actually a person he just he called me he's like i have a interview coming soon can you look into my description of course this is a premium service uh, for premium members so we look into the description and i told him hey you should be taking the active directory course uh for a lot of the questions because they're using their microsoft shop and they're using active directory and you are gonna definitely get an active directory question and that's similarly i have a lot of success story that i shared you should go to the playlist and uh, click on the playlist and how uh, i uh, i shared the success stories so now coming down this person hamza zia he's actually a friend of mine he actually didn't make it through but he was the second person to be almost selected but internal uh, employee took over and he took the job but he shared a pretty good questions right here tell me about yourself tell me about a difficult difficult situation you had and and how you resolved it tell us about the problem that you couldn't solve by yourself and how did you go about it you know all these questions my suggestion to you is that again you can hear me all of this stuff i have teach this in the courses so but if you want to get a better answer then ask this in the community like spiceworks you know about the community right you, you go here and you click here and then if you don't know watch that video then you ask these questions in the community you're going to get a lot of answers whatever makes sense to you whatever you feel more whatever where you feel more confident then you should say an answer that one right because there are going to be different answers but there are going to be some answers that you should already know for example there's an answer about like this one how do you keep up with the latest technology where do you go learn about latest technologies and issues in the it field and to be honest let me give you not give you my answer let's let's go for this member how they answered this type of question now this is a different person landed a job laser Hi Danish, I'm so proud of to, I'm so proud to tell you that I landed my IT job in one of the largest company in the world and the biggest tech firm in Canada. Okay, since I started my membership in your site, I visit it every day and learn from the lessons you have discussed. I actually don't have any knowledge in Active Directory etc to apply in the entry level position in IT, but because of your learning material and motivation that I was I have watched in YouTube, I was able to. Asked my interview. I, mean, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but she blasted the interview <laughs> as a service desk analyst and told them that I have a con continuing education or online course that will back me up for the said position. You know what? This is it. And he, like, this is how she used the platform and turned it around into something really cool. And then I'm sure they probably looked into the site and then when they see something like 30,000 people success and they see the technicality they see the real world training that we teach people get impressed and people do we we have managers that have contacted us you don't have to go with our words you can actually go and just, so people will say why don't you just show us this laser you know this could be just normal text so and she was from philippines though by the way and i passed all the four set of interviews process three of them are panel interview now let me show you you can come here and if you really want to know about if this comment is true or not you should come on the facebook we do have a facebook page if you guys don't know go to jobs share on facebook 
and it's a 4.8 after five reviews you go in there and this is lay maza this is the this is the lady that actually uh sent this uh, comment and just send her the text hey you know and <laughs> this comment that you have texted is this true because that's the person that did it and it's 2017 i can't even i cannot even make it up now you know uh so you should come you should come over here and get confidence and the only thing at the end i'm going to suggest you that don't over complicate the interview process you just need to like you know one person said there was nothing about technical and if if it was about technical then you already know how to pass the technical interview by going to these courses nobody expects you to know everything in it especially the even the basic stuff they they wouldn't expect that from you in the beginning if, but if you show them that this type of stuff that you have such a great learning over here hands on learning then it's hard for people to to technically test you this is for you to land a job and after landing a job that stress level of learning you know is going to be there but it's going to be less than a person who don't know anything because you are almost like a a, a, a IT professional who spend almost ab about 3 to 6 months in the company but you have learned it through some of the education style other person may have learned it the hard way hands on style but still you're you're still there you're still better than nothing right so this is my take on how do you deal with on site interview of course your physical thing should be there like you know how you should dress properly you should look good um you should look fresh and all that stuff should be there and this is something you can google i mean i'm not a perf i'm not a perfect person into that area i sh i'm sure there's a lot more better professionals in that area you should look into that and how should you dress and all that kind of stuff so use that uh for for this type of i hope it helps you if you have any other questions please let me know thank you